Hello everybody. For this second day here in Italy, I'll be visiting the Necropoli Bandidaccia, um, l'Antica Monterrano, and also um, la Caldara di Manziana. This first place, um, la Necropoli Bandidaccia, it's uh, an Etruscan burial site, and uh, it's quite interesting because of the way the Etruscans uh, used to bury their people. The ancient Romans referred to the Etruscans as the Tushi or Etrusci. These are the plural names for Tuscus. Their Roman name is at the origin of the name Toscana, which represented their heartland. Until 750 BC, Etruria's extension was roughly from Tuscany, reaching western Umbria and going down to northern and central Lazio. From 750 to 500 BC, Etruria reached all the way up to the Pio Valley in North Italy, the west coast including Pompeii and Salerno, and also the Corsica island. The necropolis Banditaccia is located at 50 km from Rome, in Cerveteri, central Lazio. The necropolis is a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2004, and this is the most elaborate example of Etruscan funerary architecture. Found over a volcanic rock plateau, with an extension of 100 hectares, the necropolis contains thousands of Etruscan tombs. The necropolis was built based on an urban plan similar to a city. There are streets, squares and districts. The tombs vary in type according to the historical period or status of the family in question. There are trenches cut in rock, tumuli and sun also covered in rock in the shape of huts or houses with a wealth of structural details. These structures in the necropolis provide the only surviving evidence of the Etruscan residential architecture. I just finished here at the Necropoli Bandidaccia and I'm heading to l'Antica Monterrano. entrance of the Antica Monterrano. It took me a while to come here. According to the panel down there, it's more 800 meters until we find the ruins. It's 4... 411. Normally it gets completely dark around 5.30.
it's getting really dark and um, um, I'm afraid I'll, I'll not be able to cover La Caldara di Manziana. I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you come to Rome next time it's, it's really a good idea to come to, to this part of Italy and, uh, and see these places. By the way, I'm alone here, so it's getting really creepy. There are plenty of caves and underground places uncovered yet and I can see that there are traces on the ground from uh, boars that live in this place. Uh, I really want to get to my car when there's still light, so I'm running. Yep, animals are coming out, I just saw. I think it was a fox. Ecco fatto.